As a busy stepmom, business owner, and couponer, my daily schedule can get pretty out of hand, and it's really difficult to keep the home in proper order. I've found, though, that I work best when things are decently organized and easy to find. One of the easiest places in the home to get cluttered up is your entryway or your coat closet. Ours has become a catch-all for everything. Today I'll be organizing mine and I'll give you my top five tips for you to organize your coat closet or your entryway closet on a budget. After watching this video, you'll feel motivated to go tackle your own small organizing project when you can find your own 15 minutes. Shut up and sit down. Tip number one, clear out and declutter. Do you really need it? Is it something that is going to benefit your life? No matter what method you want to use, you can KonMari it. I know there are all kinds of uh, gurus out there who will tell you, pick it up, hold it, see if you need it, ha touch it. If you haven't touched it in the last six months, you don't need it. I'm not advocating one particular method. Do whatever works for you, but ch make sure you take everything out of your closet first. Lay it all out in a big space, maybe your dining room table, wherever you have a lot of room to look at all the items, and then really determine what you need. Also check and see if there's uh, somewhere else that things could live. Does your cleaning basket of supplies need to be in here, or is this really a good space for your coats? Maybe your coats should go in your regular closet. Just look at all of your supplies, look at everything you've got in there, and then choose what's going to stay what's going to be donated, and what's going to find a home somewhere else in your house. Tip number two, find ways to create smaller spaces and compartmentalize. So maybe that's using a set of three drawers like this one that I have here that I purchased at Dollar General for I think it was like $10. Use that in your closet to compartmentalize things into smaller spaces. Utilize smaller spaces to make things more organized. Uh, maybe get some of those plastic shoe boxes up top if you want to store anything up there if you've got a top shelf area or possibly uh, utilize bags and baskets uh, to put things into a different order. Get those over the hanger, over the door hanging baskets for small items. Tip number three, think creatively about your space. Do you need a coat closet? We don't particularly use ours for coats. We very rarely have guests, and when we do, you know, we put maybe a coat or two in there and that's it. It doesn't need to sit there and be used as space just for those two coats and hangers that might be there all the time. So we're going to use ours a little bit differently. We're going to use ours, since it's central to our upstairs, downstairs house, we're going to utilize it to house some of the things that we use, both upstairs and downstairs. Tip number four, use stuff that you already have. It can be exciting when you start a new project to go out and purchase new baskets and things, even from the Dollar Tree, but don't spend money unless you need to. Um, you know, the Dollar Tree and Dollar General have really, really cute baskets and organizing items, and you can find a lot of stuff there for cheap. But take a quick look around your house first to see if there's maybe a basket or a box or 
uh, this or that that you're not using or using as much as you could and put it to a different use. You know, if you've got a bucket that's just sitting around in the garage, put it in your coat closet and stick your mops and your brooms inside it and that way it can corral that all into one space. And our last tip is sit back and enjoy your work and that means taking before and after photos even of a small project like this. Even if you're just going to work on your junk drawer, go ahead and take a before and after. It'll give you such a sense of accomplishment. Brag about it on Instagram. I mean, we get so very few opportunities to brag about ourselves and to talk about the good that we're doing and you know how exciting that can be. We put our toolbox up there. We've got our Swiffer wipes and our dustpan. Our drill uh, plug-in thing is up there as well. We do have a couple of coats still here on the side, just coats that we don't wear as often. In the back is where I stored the tall items like the broom and the Swiffer, so those can be back behind. We have a little box fan that we keep in here. I don't want to store the box fan in our bedroom and take up a lot of space, especially because it's winter time, but we do like it in the summer, so I just shoved it in here. And it kind of keeps those uh, items in place down there as well. My purse now finally has a place to sit. <laughs> We've got the charger plates in here. Um, the middle drawer right there that you can see is where I have all of my place cards and formal dinner napkins and uh, everything like that. So this is actually right off of our dining room. So those items can be really close by. That top drawer right there is all of the hats, gloves, and scarves for winter weather. So my next plan is to just get some labels and label uh, those three drawers right there so we know. The bottom are bags and uh, for reusable shopping bags and uh, umbrellas for using in inclement weather. And that's pretty much it. That's our coat closet. You know, we decluttered a lot of crap that we didn't need out of there. We simplified into items that you know are usable and things that we do every day. And now it houses stuff that is gonna be really helpful for us to have right in the center of our house. I know that's kind of a trend nowadays to make uh, spaces like the inside of closets beautiful by wallpapering them and putting little shelf liners and things like that. That's something that I'm planning and hoping to do later on in the future with our house. To start with, I really just want to get things in each room and closet organized and looking nice and neat. And then once I've got a place for everything and everything in its place, then I can worry about maybe redesigning things to look a little fancier. But honestly, if I'm going to redesign something, it's going to be something I have to see and be in every day, like our bedroom versus the inside of our coat closet. So today is all about just getting it looking organized. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please give the video a thumbs up. We'll be adding more videos of like this to our lineup of money saving videos and money making videos that we typically have out. So if you're new to this channel and you like organizing on a budget, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on all of our videos. Don't forget to save money, make money, and dream big, and we will catch you later. Shut up and sit down.